is sharing crocodile tears now. The governor Aminu Masari is lamenting the banditry that is ravaging Kestina and other states in the south, in the northwest. He is at his wit end as he has run out of opinion to tackle the menace of lawlessness that has made the lives of people an absolute misery. They can't go to their farms. They are not safe in their homes and communities anymore. And there is no one to save them from their tormentors. Masari's lamentation is at best dubious when Major General Leo Arabo, Chief of Defense Planning and Operations Defense Headquarters, visited him in his office last Tuesday. The governor complained that the bandits were still having a free reign and spreading mayhem all over the state. He said that they have killed over 50 people in two weeks. Rustled countless numbers of cattle and kidnapped many victims for large ransoms. For the untenth times, he appealed to the secretary to the security agencies to come to the head of the overwhelmed state in the northwest. Masari and his colleagues had ignored warnings that their in, in, initi initiative of glad handling, handling the Fulani bandits would backfire big time. Last year, the Northwest governors launched what they call Niger Delta style, uh, uh, amnesty program to es essential appeal the uh, bandits, to appease the bandits. The criminals would lay down their weapons, renounce banditry and get generously rewarded with cash and other goodies. In a series of public show that the initiative was real and working, many of the bandits handed over their arms and pledged to become law-abiding people. And the governors declared victory and insisted that their reaching out to the bandits was justified. But their optimism about the efficacy of their appeasement scheme was entirely misplaced. You can't coddle criminals and expect their criminality to vanish just like that. All the governors succeeded in doing all the governors succeeded in doing is uh, legitimizing and in criminals and heartless killings and bonding more of them to live by the gun. It is a catastrophic, it is very catastrophic before or failure of leadership at this level. So, it's Masari's lament lamentation and admission that he, his colleagues, were wrong. They owe the people an apology for giving them worse hope with the bandits' appeasement that has cost hundreds of millions of naira without ending their mindless, unprovoked killings. But to be, to be fair to the governors, they are helpless. They are chief security officers of their respective states without the power to de deploy security pa personnel to address the menace. Masa Masari's case is even more pathetic than others. The governor, he, he, he governs Castina State, which is President Muhammadu Buhari lost in the state. Yet, he gets no uh, serious support from Abuja to save the people from the terrorism of these bandits. So, if Buhari can leave his own state in the launch, then the others can't dare to expect any help from the federal government. Not now and not ever. And that means that the bandits will continue to expand. They're going to expand the ungoverned space they have carved out for themselves. The people are on their own. That is all I have to say. Viewers, 
the security men that are supposed to be protecting the north we are all moved we are now, are now moved they were they were all moved to Igbo land under various uh, gosses and making the north very uh, vulnerable all policy all, all policies to uh, in the eight the Igbo man backfired they tried the northerners tried to relate Igbo men their plans for the Igbo men backfired on them not are meant to do evil when it comes to corruption the northerners are always there when it comes to looting the northerners are always there criminal criminal act the northern and always are always there evil things killing people kidnapping these northerners are always they will be the first person they will call why are they all doing this why are these people so wicked to the extent that they don't have they don't have human sympathy to me the only way out is community policy why not see or why not set a uh, set up a, a, a more technical style side security outfit in the troubled exit and take out to the last men that they see they should set this up a more technical style security office in that exit then let's see what will happen after with them if all of them will not be caught and be taken to, 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 to prison. The problem we have now is Buhari. When they see these people, when they catch these people, instead of him to, to withdraw and let justice take its course, he will ask he asks them what he, what he would what he do is to ask them to pre to not never to even torture or uh, beat them that he knows what that we think about what to do. Imagine, would you have to uh, would you have to have sympathy on a killer? Some that have been killing your, your citizens. So many of them, they have, they have been killed. The victims, the, the family of the victims too, they are in pain and agony. And you are here telling them, telling Nigerians that whosoever that catches this Boko Haram and Ethmen should not kill them, should not retaliate because they killed their family members. Imagine that. Why would they kill someone that killed? Oh God, this Buhari, I don't know what he's up to. I don't know what his plan, what his plans are concerning the people in this country imagine that what do you expect when you when you invite a mentor and you did not even make any provision for firewood the Almentan will finish it they, they finish you definitely they must finish you for the suffering that you have caused them I think you've invited them with hope that good luck Jonathan Ebele would not uh, accept, would not accept to defeat them so that blood would be on the innocent Nigerians so that the blood of the innocent Nigerians would be flew on him but with the grace of God he, would, he never succeeded he never succeeded imagine that so the Almagiris were very useful in the north during the last election of of uh, Ganduji for the purpose of rigging the elections. Then they had no state of origin and no, they, they, they have no parents. So why now that they have to be evacuated from north because of, uh, because they have been, they were, or they are infected with this COVID-19 pandemic. Why? Why are these governors, governor of Kano state so wicked to the extent of accommodating and taking care of these Almagiris. When they were useful, then, during this election, their, his election, they were assessed, but now that they have this virus, imagine that. They have this, because they are virus eating now, they have become liabilities to them. Imagine, they have become liabilities. So, then, then, Juji, should be held responsible for vagrants of or the, for the for the vagrant spread of this COVID-19 in, in all states. It should be responsible for it because then, when this Amajiris, when he was about to um, the governor of 
um, this state of Kanu State was about coming in as a governor during the election. These people were the one who voted for. If not, he wouldn't have had an high, the high score he had. He wouldn't have been the winner. He wouldn't have been the governor, governor of Kanu State. With the help of these Amajiris, that was what made him to be the governor. Now that the people, the children are suffering, they are fairly facing challenges. Instead of him to support them, he's, he, now, he's, he now tried to deport them or take them away from the country of the state to another state. Imagine that. Why, why, would, why would you abandon them? Why would you aban abandon those people when they need you most? But when you need, it, when you need them most, they supported you and uh, gave you whatever you want or everything you want. Now that you have become the president or the governor, now they are nothing to use. So viewers, that is my own opinion. Drop your own comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive.